Hi, my name is John Gaira. I am a ServiceNow architect here at RepDev. In the realm of ServiceNow, uh, AI ops is important and really becomes relevant so that you know, organizations are able to identify potential issues happening inside of production um, and able to quickly know what applications, et cetera, are being impacted and quickly take actions to resolve uh, those issues and restore things back to their normal health. AI ops is important uh, just because without it, it would be a little bit difficult to really trace down the overall impact that a certain issue or outage is having and who it is ultimately affecting. And without identifying what the actual issue is, what's being impacted, it would lead to kind of longer resolve times. Inside of ServiceNow, AI ops really comes into picture when we're talking about event management uh, and health log analytics, which is HLA. Um, so with inside of event management, we're able to connect into a lot of your different monitoring sources and get events actually happening, flowing into ServiceNow. With Health Log Analytics, uh, HLA, we're actually able to stream logs uh, from your logging systems into ServiceNow. Um, both of those ends up creating events inside of ServiceNow. And that is where ServiceNow is able to use its AI uh, powers to really suppress uh, different noises, correlate different events together, to really come up with a better picture of what is actually happening inside of your environment and create the appropriate alerts when necessary. Now, with those alerts, just because of you know, the different framework that we have inside of ServiceNow, you are able to correlate those alerts up to what ultimate application services are affected by these potential issues. So we're able to see, you know, is it a, a mission critical application that has, you know, a lot of visibility and high end user impact, or is it maybe kind of like a, a low impact application? And with that can help drive prioritization of, you know, is a membridge necessary to pull a lot of people together, or is it something kind of really not so much simple, but something that we've seen before, in which case we might have an auto remediation option, which could automatically go ahead and fix things on its own. One common challenge that I think that we see with a lot of different customers is, you know, they have a lot of different monitoring tools out there in the ecosystem. Um, and really, you know, they wonder what role ServiceNow plays in that. You know, do we, you know, feed, um, you know, all these events to another system and then have that be the filter and, you know, pass those into ServiceNow or do we just connect all these tools into ServiceNow? And we say, you know, just connect all the tools into ServiceNow so that we get those raw events just because ServiceNow, again, does have its own AI uh, processing that it does to help suppress and correlate these different events. Um, and, you know, again, that is a problem that we have seen at different customers where, okay, they might have an alarm sounding in one system, they might have another alarm sounding in another one, but without kind of ServiceNow being the glue between those, they're going to have two different alarms, whereas ServiceNow, it kind of combines them into the same one because it knows it's ultimately impacting the same application service. After working with us uh, at RapDev, uh, so customers will have a better visibility into the operational standpoint of where they are, um, you know, with their different systems. Since we have a lot of these different systems integrated with ServiceNow, we'll be able to see, you know, immediately when an alert is actually there. We'll be able to see what applications are ultimately affected, especially those very important mission critical applications. And then based off of what the issue is, being able to take the correct remediative actions to resolve it. By doing this, customers are gonna be saving, I would say both time and money, just because when an application is down, so obviously one of the metrics that is there is mean time to resolve, which is basically you know the time between something is down and then it is being restored. And typically when things are down, companies are losing money. So if you reduce MTTR, you also uh, reduce the overall cost and basically the money that you're losing out on. With ServiceNow and AI Ops, so we're able to reduce uh, MTTR, especially when we have auto remediations in place. So if there's an alert and it's one that we have already accounted for, an auto remediation can be automatically triggered without any manual intervention and it happens almost instantaneously. RapDev really places an emphasis on getting things correct from a technological front. I mean, we are an engineering first driven shop. 
We, while yes, process is important, we are not a process shop. Uh, we go ahead and focus on solutions that are actually going to work for our customers at scale, um, where you might not get that at you know different um, partners. You know, we are really in the weeds of different technologies, especially you know when it comes to uh, cloud technologies and DevOps and, and everything like that, where. You know, we're really at the, the forefront of getting into these tools.